Hey guys, Bali here and Mrs. Maya. Say hi, Maya. <laughs> so today we're just going to talk about um, babies in the um, NICU when they have to stay, right? Um, and like I told you guys before, Maya, she had to stay at the hospital after she was born. Um, it actually felt like an eternity, but it was only for 10 days and it literally felt like if it was a month or more um because leaving the babies at the hospital after your like discharge is like one of the worst feelings you will ever feel if this were to happen to you so i want to talk to you about some of the things that you will notice um when the baby has to stay at the at the NICU one of the things is that the baby will have an id band and you will have an id van as well um and the id vans they always have to match your babies so um if you are leaving a baby at the hospital or the baby has to stay at the NICU you have to make sure that you do not remove the um the id van at all never don't don't do it because if you do then um how will they know that that is your baby another thing that you will notice is that when you go in um you have to wash your hands and that's very important um in the NICU there are a lot of babies a lot of other babies in your baby that are premature so it's important that you are washing your hands at all times every time you go in the NICU and they will tell you that you have to wash your hands for 60 um seconds and you'll do that every time you go in and um, another thing that you would notice is the baby will be in an incubator. It could either be just a regular incubator. Um, they have different ones. Some of them are have a light. Some of them are just like body temperature. Some of them, they maintain it as just, you know, almost room temperature. So with Maya, she was just in an incubator for a little bit bit not too long then she was transitioned to um a different incubator then transitioned to a different one then just a regular crib and it was really exciting the day that i saw her um transition from the those incubators and at least for the last one to like a regular crib i was just so super psyched when that happened another thing you will notice is that the baby will have an ng tube um not all babies might have them, but most of them, I think that's one of the main things they, they'll do um, because um, that helps them eat. So an NG tube, tube is a feeding tube, so it usually goes um, in, the, in their nose. Sometimes they can put it in the mouth, but it's more comfortable or, or easier for them if it's um, through the nose. Um, so this little one had to had, have an NG tube because she didn't want to eat by herself. <laughs> um, another thing you will definitely obviously notice is the monitor the monitor checks the baby heart rate and it checks the baby's um, respiratory rate um, you'll also see the baby's oxygen level all of those things will be there and um, it might be a little scary because you'll see the um, a lot of like wires and like sticky things all over the baby's chest and the abdomen it's okay that's normal um, don't get scared. They're just making sure that the baby's um, vitals are normal. Okay. One of the things that my baby had to get was um, she had to, we had to check her blood sugars because that was one of the reasons she was at the hospital because her blood sugars were really low. So um, they were checking her blood sugars every time she would eat, every time she'll have um, her milk, they will check her blood sugars and make sure that they were normal or if they were not normal they will change the baby's milk or in the calories that she was taking so that could be another thing that they might do with your baby if um the baby's at the NICU one more thing that my baby had was um she had an IV she didn't have that one for too long I think for the first couple of days so you might notice that in case they need to give the baby any medications she only stayed at the hospital for 10 days from November 17th, which it was when she was born, until November 26th. So she went home for um, Thanksgiving, which it was awesome. Yeah. We really wanted her to be home for Thanksgiving, and she was. So those are the some of the things that um, you will notice 
if your baby is if your baby stays at the NICU okay well that's pretty much it I'll see you next time bye bye